Hi there, I'm Pam. I'm from the... I couldn't do it. <laughs> Whoa! Huh? Wow! <laughs> Tail feather torsion! Check! Wing deployment! Check! Heads in bake-off mode! Take-off mode. Take-off mode! Check! They pay me a lot of money for enthusiastic check. The story of this cute family of ducks who get lost in the city of New York. However, they decide to take advantage of the situation and explore around. Hi guys, good morning. Hello. Hi guys. Bonjour. Yeah, grumpy old duck. I remember this guy. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready. Come on, Mac, live a little. Oh, what? Get away from me. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy! Yeah! Healthy! Yeah! And totally alone! Yeah! The Mallard family confronts the dilemma of whether to remain in the comfort of their pond or embark on a migration adventure like other ducks. This theme is emphasized multiple times throughout the movie, encouraging the audience to consider the risk of spreading their own wings and taking their own chances. Well, just move a little bit to your left. You're a little bit off mic. Oh, shoot! I'm hoping you've got recordings of the lines you were happy with last time. Ah! Bebba who? Uh, Bebba what? Uh, Bebba See? There's nothing to worry about. Oh, oh, that's all you needed? All you needed was the noise on five. Okay. How come they have such tiny beaks? We have big beaks. They got tiny beaks. No offense, no offense, but they are tiny beaks. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. Mike White was set to write the script of this project. What other Illumination project was he responsible for writing as well that hasn't come out yet? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. You're trapped me for years. Now you're trying to eat my friends? <laughs> Ah. Enough! This is the Bird Rebellion! Should we keep going? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. It's not good, not good manners to make fun of somebody's beak. We get to meet with Keegan Michael Key on his character, Delroy, a parrot. In a few hours, we'll reach the coast. Did a little hop over the ocean? And we'll finally get to my homeland! Get out your talents. He's been in a cage for a long time, and he misses his family. <laughs> Do I know the way to Jamaica? The film's tone becomes more tense as the story progresses. Painted in bright 2D with open lines and brushstroke colors, the prologue might scan as a fairy tale, a conflicted one. <laughs> How about we share the sandwich? 50 50. 80 20. 67 33. 70 30. 67 33. 8 9 60. 68 32. Deal, deal, deal. All right, you got a deal. Uncle Dan, cut the sandwich. As tellers Mac and Pam change story beats on a whim, but once we cut to a more familiar 3D style, the wider film suggests something closer to National Lampoon's Mallard vacation. Okay, bumpkins, I don't got all day. Let's get a move on. Oh, oh way down there. It's the only sandwich we got. You want to go down there? You first. Oh, watch out! Bye-bye. <laughs> I pushed it. Get ready to be blown away. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Aside from all the voice actors' work, we can go to the next section and see what animating everything was like and the research behind it. Characters are very simple. The sets are very simple. It's the first draft for the movie. You go from those weird layouts where the characters are just like stiff characters that are like, Pam, I love you. And the character is just like, oh, thank you. I love you too. I, I, I beg your pardon? The director spoke of his process translating the minimalist style that marked his previous films, Ernest and Celestine, and The Big Bad Fox and Other Tales for a more straightforward CG landscape where everything needed to be shown. Oh, what? Get away from me! Ah! Mwah. Ah! Mwah. Before the next guy gets here, come in here with a bottle of disinfectant and clean this whole place up. No one is sticking anything down anyone's throat! Jump! 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 Yeah. doing one no cracker! Renner explained that he took inspiration from naturally expressive animals in the wild and creating characters that have distinctly expressive features in their designs. He described the ducks as challenging to design by the team. He recalled a team of 50 animators studying a real duck at Illumination. 
For example, if I take the jaw here, so I can open it and close. When he's talking, you can see the movement of the jaw opening and closing. So this is everything that happens during his shot. So that can take a lot of time, a lot of work. Well, we have a, a large team of artists, and it takes a lot of people to make these movies. Creating a story when it comes to having source materials it comes as not so much of a challenge as this one does, with no source material and everything imagined and created firsthand. Hashtag adventure. Okay. Um, hold on, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever say this, but, uh... Scram, you crazy thugs! Get the f*** out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I know you can't say that. That's right. Don't offend anyone. Come on, you know my humor by now. You can't use it. <laughs> no. What are you thinking? But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Hi there, I'm Pam. I'm sharing my life with him, so I'm painfully aware of all the stupid things that come out of his mouth. That was so rude. You really need to open your eyes, Mac. Free as a bird! You gotta come to our territory. You gotta steal our food. And then you insult us? Good day. <laughs> the end. At the same time, Renner drew influences from his childhood experiences and dynamics with his family when making humorous situations for the Ballard family. Gwen and the situations surrounding her character are inspired by his experiences as the youngest sibling in his family. Come on, it's nothing. Just stick close to me and everything will be all right! <gasps> Come on, everyone, prepare for takeoff so we can get out of here. I'm not that brave. <laughs> I think there's a slight misunderstanding here. We had to find a way to make him funny. The water is glowing! Take some glowing water! You get glowing water and you get glowing water! He also tried to avoid lazy jokes and went for something that could appeal to both adults and children at the same time. That sounds incredibly magical. Maybe we should go say hi. <laughs> should we? I don't know. I don't know. I promised adventure, and this is exactly what I promised, huh? <gasps> spit it out! 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 Thank you. It always feels that way when you're the director, of course. White described the film as using a comedic fantasy landscape to explore its central themes. He said that the film has more depth than a standard children's film and a lot of illuminations output. Renner described the main theme in the film as getting out of your comfort zone, facing life, and accepting that fear is a part of life. When at first everyone was trying to make her cute, being like always cute and nice and everything. Oh, please, Uncle Dad! No, no, like kids are not cute. They're saying weird things, they say what they think. We spend winter here to win psycho killers like you're sorry. <laughs> Sometimes they're being mean. Welcome to Nye Nye Nye. Sometimes they're being nice. You need a hug. The filmmaker sought to treat the humans in the film in the way they believed ducks perceived them. Renner said the humans are treated like animals in the movie, and that only the birds understand each other. That wild duck is on a journey of the soul, and I say we follow it. Well, come on! Let's go, 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 go! Whatever you're expecting over there, <laughs> it's going to be even better. I can do anything! I'm gonna do a couple of take dats. Hold on, just like a take dat, take dat, take dat. As crazy as it sounds, and from what we have heard earlier, this film took over five years to complete from the idea to full finish, which was longer than what Benjamin Renner said himself he was used to doing. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna pop back in. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's do it. You got two more? That or that? Okay, good. Left his home to make it in the big city? But the chef got him first. Why I order? Totally, yeah. Break! Hit the brakes! I'm calling my lawyer! Come on, blow it out. Uh -oh. blow. When doing any sort of research regarding this film, it's apparent that they studied ducks and the world they were going to put them in very heavily. In one sense, the leaving home theme of migration is an example of art imitating life. Renner confessed that he had to be prodded out of his comfort zone to take on a major CGI production. Give me a little push. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh, yeah, it's me! It's Uncle Dan! Wow! Oh, oh, way down there. It's the only sandwich we got! Going to go down there? You first. Look at a tiny beak! <laughs> You can tell me, I don't mind. I'm a big boy, I'm a big duck. Part of Landry's pitch to Renner included the opportunity to work with the studio's Paris-based animation team. Illumination has such a huge roster of talented artists, and the animation team is really, really strong. Renner says crediting the team with easing his transition from 2D to big digital filmmaking. Hello, little ducks. Bye. 
mallards. What's a nice little family of mallards doing down here? Oh, cold and wet. In a rush? Are you? You're not bothering at all. I, I, I beg your pardon? And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Mike White has been responsible for writing many projects, including the Emoji Movie, Pitch Perfect 3, and the most recent project for Illumination, Despicable Me 4, releasing July 3rd of this year. Gwen is played by Treasy Gazelle. She's my daughter. <laughs> We needed a scratch voice. And with kids, it's kind of really hard to get the material consistent. I ain't sure ducks have talent, though. With her, because she was just there, we could just keep recording her. What happened to the other duckling? Was she squished, too? But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What are your thoughts on all this, and what did you think about this movie? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Video. Bye guys. Fly to the big green statue, fly due south for three miles, then due east for one mile, due west for ten miles, then your southwest for one mile, south south east for two uh -oh. miles, and south southwest for the rest of the way. We're almost there, everyone! I can't feel it! I'm back! <laughs> so, okay, thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Having a nice time. What are you doing? Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go.